Okay, so welcome to this week's episode of My Truth Podcast. Um, many boys, when they're looking to get that dream into professional football, they start early, under nines, under tens, under elevens. My next guest, however, is one of those players that came into football a bit later, but still proved it's possible to get a professional contract. So please welcome Percy Kengabeni to the to the show, yo, aka yo, yo. PK Humble. Yo yo yo, how you doing? I'm alright, man. Yourself? Not bad, not bad at all. So first thing off the bat, the name PK Humble. Where where did that originate from? I don't know. Obviously, Percy is my first name. Okay. The K is my last name, and the Humble. I don't know, like I'm just humble with it, innit? Humble like, guy, just... yeah. I like. It. I mean. All the, boy, all the young boys, I work at a college and all the young boys in there, we have about 50 kids and mm. every single one of them knows who you are. And it's like, you, you know, you've created such a, a a great atmosphere for yourself and a great personality, but we'll get into all of that. But I just wanted to know the origins of the name. Mm. Okay. So tell us where you grew up and what family life was like for you when you were growing up. Obviously, I grew up in Tottenham. Okay. Mum, dad, I was fortunate to have mum, dad at home. Okay. I grew up. I grew up in a house where my family were Jehovah Witness. Okay. So it was a bit mad, like, getting knocking doors and these kind of things. Like, everyone... Was you introduced to that quite early? Yeah, I was introduced to that early, like, but just, it was never for me, in it. But obviously that was just like, that was just like our thing, in it. Like, in the house, everyone's knocking doors and that. But yeah. like, outside of that, yeah, like, I was living a completely different life, like a separate life. So it was okay. Really mad. Okay. So who's at home? You say mum, dad? Mum, dad. I've got a little sister. Okay. And my older brother. Okay. And my older sister. So there's four everyone, Yeah, everyone was all into sports. Like, my sister used to do athletics and that. My brother liked football. Okay. So, like, everyone was always, like, and obviously within my area that I lived in, like... Yeah. Everyone always, like... Everyone always, like, played football amongst each other. Okay. So obviously, whether it's Cage, Go to Go, Wembley... Okay. Like there was quite a, I used to always play with like my brother's friends. Okay. So I always played with like older people. Older so buddies. I feel like yeah. obviously that helped me growing up, like making me that kind of the player that I am now. Like. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Mum and dad, were they athletic? Were they sporty? My dad still, till this day, he still jogs. Like does like, what, 10 laps is a thing. Oh, wow. Like, I think okay. it's like, 8k or something silly like that like, i don't think i'll be able to <laughs> my mom tries a bit like i get on snap sometimes my yeah. mom will be skipping in her dressing gown and that like so everyone in my house like my mom swims as well okay so everyone in my house stays fit active, like stay yeah. active like we're quite an active family really okay so as i mentioned a bit earlier young boys getting into football tend to start early yeah now, i know academies these days get them in from like seven eight um, talking to you earlier, you, you kind of missed all of that. So, so take us why why, yeah. why that was the case for you. So I missed that. I missed that. Like uh, I could, you could call it the fundamental stage, like where you polish, like where you learn football. Like I missed that. Like I learned football through watching it, playing with my brother's friends. Okay. Just like so, I've, I've always been raw. Yeah. So kind of like from when I remember when I was in year six, it was me and Abs. Okay. When David Beckham Academy ripped it up. Okay. I had trials for Arsenal. He had trials for Chelsea. Okay. But my parents weren't able to take me to the trials. Like, so God knows what happened. My, right now, I might have been playing in the Prem for, for <laughs> you know, you get it. Like, um, yeah. When you said they weren't able to get you there, was that a choice so thing? Because it was that? really, like, their thing was like, if you're going to be Jehovah, like, we want you to be Jehovah Witness. So we want to pave you into that Jehovah Witness path. So going to play football, yeah, you're not going to be able to like go church on a Sunday, go church on a Wednesday. Like you're going to be having games here, games there. Like, yeah. so it's not really like the life that they wanted for man. So they didn't really like help me progress. Encourage it yeah. Like way. help me okay. press, enc encourage it really. Okay. Okay. And how did that make you feel? I know we're going back years, but how did you feel at that time? At the time, like, it was just like, it is what it is. Like I really, I, I take most things with a pinch of salt. Like, cause obviously I know it's not, coming from a bad place and that. Yeah. Obviously, ideally, I want to be playing like I'm mad, like that I'm not playing, but it's one of them things that I can't go and up and go and start playing for Arsenal. Now. Yeah. Like, I can't go up to my trust, so yeah. I just got to get over get it. Over I can that. just okay. move. So we're growing up. You're growing up. You're, you're, you're in a religious family. When does football start becoming a little bit more serious for you? What sort of age and what was the turning point? You know, it's, always been, it's always been my passion. Like, mm -hmm. like So when I was in school, I was always like one of the best in the school 
one of the best in my year. Like, so it was one of them ones where it was just like, it's always a passion. Yeah. But as I got older, it was like, I don't know, probably like 19, 18. Okay. Where I thought like, you know what? That I want to be a footballer. Like I actually want to be a footballer. So I'm going to do everything I can to be a pro. Like, So prior to that, it wasn't necessarily your end goal to be a footballer. Like, People used to say I'm crazy, like, right, like, why do you play so much football if you don't want to be a professional footballer? And I used to just love football. Yeah. Just love playing. Like, and that's why I like I'm so competitive when I play. Mm-hmm. Like, whether it's a five aside or nine aside, eleven aside, friends kick about now. Nah, yeah. Like when I play football, I play, win. I wanna win, like of and that's I play wholeheartedly, like. Okay. So it gets to nineteen, you're sort of at college and you know, that burning desire, that passion is like, you know what, I actually want to do this now mm. full time. I'm interested. What sort of steps did you take towards that? So my brother, I was at college, I was at sixth school. And then my brother was going to like, I can't remember, like it was like a football college or something okay. like that. Like one of these B-Tech programs. Yeah, like, okay. so I would, I would, I would leave college. So I would miss college certain days and go and train with them. With so it was like a like Arsenal development kind of one year. With, okay. Like, Dean, like. Okay. The Miller. Okay. And and like I used to go train and I used to like it. Like the training, the intensity was good, the vibe was good, like everything was proper. Like so like that's when I started putting more and more effort into it. Then I was training with like my bedrooms. Yeah. Like, and a few of my friends would be training together. Okay. Going hard. Like at the time I think I think I was training with Brian at the time as well. Like and Brian always like commends me for it and rates man for it. And he says like like you was on it and I wasn't on it. Like you was putting everything into it and I wasn't really doing it. And obviously this is when I signed for coaches. So you're saying to me, yeah, like that's how you reaped that's your rewards. You, like that's why it's come to you. Like, the work. Cause yeah, he was yeah. putting in the work, like when okay. others weren't really willing to do so. Okay. So in terms of team environments, what teams are you playing for? So I was playing stage? for some team in Walthamstow called Old Palmetarians. Okay. I was playing for that. They had like 11 teams. I was playing <laughs> for like their 10th team. Or oh, something. wow. Is like a pub order? team, like I was just, it was a joke. Mm. Like the like the level of football was, well, it was a joke. Like I'm playing with guys with bellies like down to their <laughs> knees. Like, like it's absolutely, it's a joke. Like. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously they had their first team, but I used to just want to play football. So it wasn't really like, you get it. You weren't looking at the level necessarily. You just wanted nah. to be out there. Then I went Conley Heath furthermore. I forgot. Okay. I, went, I went Conley Heath with one of my bedrooms, Jake. So his dad was assistant manager at the club. Okay. So his dad was assistant manager at the club. And I was, and then I was doing my thing. I was playing right winger these times. I don't even know what I was doing. <laughs> I'm saying right winger, cutting in, and cutting in on my right. Piece, yeah. Scoring on my left. I was, don't know. I was having a field there at the time. Okay. And then, we played against the first team, was the reserves against the first team. And like, I don't know, like, it's Conley Heath. One of the guys are thinking they're a bit big, a bit too big time. Mm. So like after the game, like during the game, he's talking like all of this, yeah, you're a little reserve player, rare right, right, right. mm. Then cut a long story short, after the game, he's given that same chat and I ended up beating him up. And then um, they like, we all beat it. We all ended up beating him up and then they, they kicked us out of Conley Heath. So I didn't have a team for quite some bit. So you say there was actually an altercation when you say yeah, you're talking about like, alter- like, yeah, okay. like we beat him up. Okay. So like he was there laughing at us in the in the clubhouse, and we just <laughs> just, just got, got to you lot. We not even got to us. Like I just I just didn't like his whole aura and hmm. you know like just like I don't like people like feel like you're superior to anyone. Like no one's superior. Like okay, you're not not superior to me. Not superior to any of my mates. And I'm not going to allow that. Like, I'm not going to allow that disrespect. So I had to let him know that. Like, yeah. So that's happened. But obviously now you have to leave the club. Yeah. So I've had to leave the club now. Next club. Like I ain't had, then I've gone to, then I've gone to back to college. Yeah. And then I've met some guy called Kanye. I've met him through, I think it was through Marcelino or something. I can't remember who I've met him through. Yeah. And he had like some foreign college program. Okay. So he's got this foreign col- col- um, college, college program, but I go to another college. Yeah. So I'll play matches for them and train with them, but, but I don't you, go to, I don't do the education, education elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. with the other boys. So I was going there morning every day. Like but they were accepting hard. of you. They, yeah. they, they were willing for you to come and train with them. Train and play. Cause obviously like I was doing my thing. I was training, playing hard. Like I was, I was doing everything right. Like, yeah. And it was, it was, it was a, it was a, it was a nice time. Like it was a good time. I was training hard doing that. Okay. And then that's when 
He's brought me to Enfield Town under 21s. Okay. So I'll play a match on a Wednesday in the morning. Yeah, for, for the, the college. And then in the evening, I'll go play another 90 minutes for a thing. So at the time, like, I was... I couldn't do that now. Like, if I try that now, I'll probably die. <laughs> I'll collapse, but I was playing 90 minutes and, like, two 90s. Two 90s in the, every in, Wednesday. on the Wednesday. Okay. Every Wednesday. It was okay. mad. And still putting in good performances both oh, ends. Oh, great performances. Okay. Great performances on okay. both ends. <laughs> and I'm I'm not even saying this. I'm super critical of myself. Like, yeah. So I'll say, like, when I'm bad. But at that time, yeah. I, I couldn't play bad. Like, I don't okay. know what it was. Okay. But at the time, I was just... I was on job. And just for the viewers and everyone listening, what position are you playing at this stage? Or At this stage, I'm playing centre mid. Okay. I'm playing box to box. Okay. Like the Kanye guy gassed me. He felt like, he used to call me um, Paul Gascoigne. Okay, Paul Gascoigne. He used to say I used to play like Paul Gascoigne. Like. For, for technical ability and all of that? Technical ability, Paul Gascoigne. I could do like, at the time I was able to do. <laughs> and again, I just want to still go back to this, that you started football relatively late. Yeah, so like, I've even missed that a certain period. So there was like a year with that, when I was going with my brother and training and like yeah. with Dino, he like, he like he worked with me closely and brushed up on me technically. Like, okay. because there was that kind of year, yeah, where like I kind of fell behind mm-hmm. and it, it showed like, I was seeing the players that were at clubs from young and yeah, seeing how and seeing what they, they were doing. Like, I was able to do certain things, mm. but I was still a step behind, behind like, because okay. technically I wasn't, like, it's like receiving the ball. Exactly. I'm not receiving the ball in the back foot. Back like, foot, I'm yeah. not, rec- I'm not, my body shape to receive the ball is not, exactly. like, there's little things that, exactly. so he's brushed up on them little things and he's like, boom, like, he's made, like, he's made, Polish like, you up yeah. Now. Okay. Now I'm flourishing. Okay. Okay. So, so you're at Farrakh. And you're at Enfield under 21s. Yeah, so... Then, being at en- just being at Enfield under 21s means there's a pathway to a first team. First team, yeah. And at Farrakh, is there also a pathway yeah, to their first path- team? there's a pathway at their first team. I ended up playing, like, one game for their first team. Okay. And then the reserve manager liked me a lot. Like, he was a proper, proper, proper cool guy, proper nice guy. Like, okay. There was two of them, they, they liked me a lot. Okay. I think they managed Avely now. Okay. Like, okay. they were trying to push me to go into the first team, but the manager was a bit stim or like it was a bit it was a bit like yeah like oh man and Aaron I played I imagine one time I even played him and he was like ah like he was, he was just giving me chat like but yeah that's another story Go but into that yeah okay. yeah like so he, the manager wasn't really buying into my thing like mm-hmm. so I've done under 21 to Enfield I'm doing well then they've changed the manager got sacked okay new managers come in Seeing a black board guy, I'm thinking, raw black manager. I ain't gonna see black manager. I'm thinking, raw what's going on? Is that, has that manager got a name because it looks like he's left an impression on you? Oh, what's his name again? I'm joking. <laughs> name, Marvin. So okay. the manager at the time was Marvin Walker. Okay. So he's come in now. Yeah. He's come in. Don't know, he's coming on some authority thing. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to bust out. Like, I don't like authority. Like, this is okay. crazy. Okay, so when you say authority, just make that clear. Like, he's, he, he's stamping down, like, like, we like, everyone respected John, but like, it was a bit of a jolly up. Like, mm. but with Marvel, it wasn't a no jolly up thing. Like, we mm. was coming, like, he was treating this like it was a first, first team, team, like, bro. first team environment. Like, I'm thinking, oh, damn, mm. like, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Like, okay, but okay. as time went along, Mm. It's like it's got along with Marv. Okay. Like I'm doing my thing. I'm playing well with that as well. And then at the time, I remember an agent came to watch me. I'm thinking, yo, this is the first agent I've spoke to. The agents come to watch me. Yeah. I ended up getting a red card that game. Oh dear. And then I've but I got and then I sat down on the bench. Yeah. These times I don't know what happens when you get a red card. Like I'm sitting down on the bench. I think someone like a fan or a manager said something to me. Now I'm going back and forth with them. Okay. And then that agents ended up phoning me, saying to me, he doesn't want to work with me, rare to to I'm thinking, yeah, my career in football is done. Like, I okay. was like devastated. I was you thinking, had kind of said you, that that word agent at that stage for you was like possible an entry point to yeah, going far. I'm in thinking, the game yeah, something. that's it. Like now I'm I'm making it. Like I'm, mm. I've got an agent. I'm gonna have an agent. Mm, like mm, he's mm. gonna he's gonna open all open the doors, doors that I, I need open for me. Okay. But obviously it, it didn't become that. So the season ended up finishing now. Okay. And then I had two options, like, so Enfield Borough were just, like... Forming. Just forming. Mm. And then um, Farouk were telling me, yeah, come back with the, with the reserves. Okay. Do your thing. You're going to slowly get into the first team. What about to- Enfield Town itself? Was there... Because we spoke... So, earlier, obviously, just- Enfield, with Enfield Town, it was more like... 
they were basically they were the f- Enfo Borough like basically Enfo Town feeder club mm-hmm. at the time like so they had a lot we had a lot of young players so it was like the thing was like developing the young players and pushing and them onto to Enfield Town yeah and I spoke to a lot of people and a lot of people are kind of sceptical like like oh nah like, I'm not too sure because every club says that but when you're doing your thing no club no manager wants to let go of that their best players like that's what usually is the case oh so they were sceptical of you potentially of me, playing at Enfield Borough and staying there like staying there and perhaps not getting your chance to go and play yeah. at Enfield Town okay but it was like I spoke to Marv I spoke, I spoke to A and it was just like I could understand. Like, I knew like they wanted the best for me, mm-hmm. and it was like I need to. I need that kind of environment. Like I need at the time, especially I needed. I needed people there to like have my best interest. Like of course, because I was a bit wild. Like so, I needed someone to yeah. to kind of like continue. Mentor you yeah, mentor me. Like yeah, exactly course. that. Mm-hmm. So it was like you know what? Like I'm gonna do it. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Even though like it was levels. Lo- couple levels lower than so I was just going to say that to you were you aware of the pyramid at this stage so in your mind was you aware that Enfield Town was a step three club yeah Enfield Borough just starting out possibly step seven or wherever they were so were you aware that starting at Enfield Borough was taking a few steps back yeah now I was, well, I was well aware that I, and I always say to myself sometimes you got a goal down to go back up like of course and sometimes it's not about how high you're playing it's about how much you're playing oh, yeah. because no one can see your talent if you're on the bench and you're coming on 10 minutes it's like raw why is this guy not playing like it might not be because you're not technically good enough yeah but there might be just politics or red tete, but if an agent comes i rather an agent come see me playing than an agent come sees me on a bench course. And you've actually, scout, sorry. you've actually said a statement there that I'd like to you know make a note of because it it doesn't matter how high you're playing, it matches how much you're playing. That is something some of the young kids today need to actually take on board. Yeah, I say that to a lot of kids, like mm. a lot of like youngers, like like you want to go, yeah, cool. I want to go to this club. Mm. I'm saying you're gonna go to that club and you're gonna sit on the bench for the whole season. Exactly. So what's that gonna do for you now? Exactly. Like it don't make no sense. Like everyone's just chasing. Like yeah, mm. you want to go with power league with your kit from step two. Mm. Like, cause you don't, you but don't want to go with your step six kit. Exactly. But you're, well, not, you're playing. not actually playing. The guy that's at step six is probably going to get more opportunities than you because he's playing. He's, we, playing he's showcasing himself. He's like playing football. So, so Marvin and Aaron, they're mentoring you. You're, you're doing your stuff at Enfield Borough. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm playing. One, one particular thing I want to bring up before I, before I forget, cause it's in my mind is there's a, there's a video that actually went viral of you when you was at Enfield Borough, I believe when you've tracked back and you've done this great recovery tackle. <laughs> And then as you've done the tackle and you've got up, you've said stuff like, give me that. And that's gone absolutely viral. And to, to, to today, today I was at a youth team game today and a guy's gone in for a tackle and one, one little white boy on the bench has gone, give me that. And I'm thinking, what the what? So did you, did, what was going through your mind at that time? You know what it is? You I said was that? enjoying football so much that it was just like, I'm just happy to be on the field. Like, yeah. like now, like, Sometimes I'm not I, like some games I won't even talk, like I won't even open my mouth. Yeah. But like if you ask Marvin that like, Enfield Borough games, you couldn't shut me up. Okay. Like I'm there in the opposition's ear, like you're having a howler, you're having a stinker. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. hate to be you <laughs> playing against me. I'm giving I'm you, you must be terrified. Like I'm running I'm running at players talking to you like oh okay. be careful. Man. Into their heads like, and all that, that. that was me, like okay. I was enjoying my football so okay. much. It wasn't even for the cameras. I didn't even know there was a camera picking that up. Like oh, yeah, I was just gonna say you surely couldn't have known the impact that those nah, words nah, would have it had. Wasn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't have no idea. Like, it was just me enjoying football. Like, and it was a lot of, like, a lot of the players were, were, were all friends. Mm. So it's just like, mm. there was a, there was a level of understanding. Yeah, like, and so bond. you're playing like, and the fluidity, like, I ain't never played in a team like that. Like so that. now like, okay. Like okay. everyone's about like, it's like the movement. It's like watching Barca play sometimes. Like mm. we're playing off each other. It's like you're in sync with everyone. Yeah, so exactly. You're like you, and then your, your manager's encouraging you. The sidelines encouraging you. It's like and this is Bar's first season. Like so, it's like yeah. one tight knit family. family like, yeah. So it was a, and what that helped you do is find yourself as well within yeah. that because everyone's in sync. You were able to find who you were as a player, and then that comes out and flourishes on yeah. the pitch. So then Marvin still cajoles you and tries to get you back into the Enfield Town framework. Yeah, so like, so I imagine I'm training. I've gone, I've gone to training early. To, uh, it's 
I've gone to training early like the for M for Borough. For M for Borough. Okay. No idea that I'm what's going on. Yeah. I'm just I think I'm just kicking the ball up in the air and with working my touch like just yeah. raggle to <laughs> just kicking the ball up, kicking the ball up. Marvin's come now, he's come to set up. Oh yeah, let's just go M for like to the other side because the M for town used to train on the stadium and we used to train on the field. The field. Okay. So like, yeah, let's go on the other side and just go with Brad in it. Like he's just Basically, just stuck it on. Just, I just said, yeah. yeah, my man's training you today. Like, to, yeah. Like, but that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. So I've gone there. I've gone there, trained that day. I've done my thing, trained well, and that, like, the guys are watching me, like, bro, who's this guy? Like, bro, mm. like, who's this little guy? Like, that's just coming from nowhere. Like, mm. hungry, raw, like, bare energy. Energy, hungry, yeah. So I'm just there, uh, hungry, hungry. I think that then the next week I played a game for Enfield Borough. Okay. But I'm still training with them. Okay. And then after that, I think the following week, I think I've ended up staying with them for throughout the end of throughout the whole season. The period. Okay. Okay. Like the whole season, I think, is like I've come off the bench or something, and then I'm with them for the whole season. Okay. So now you've kind of moved from Enfield and you're part of the Enfield yeah. Town setup. Uh, yeah, and it's okay. like no one's hot. Like it's not like one of them ones where Marvel's phoning him like, "Yo, like I got a big game hit. To you. Like I need your player." Like, nah, like that's not what he's done. Is it's basically gone like, "Yeah, cool." You flourish with me now. Go flourish. Go with, flourish. Go again. flourish with them. Go show everyone else what you can what do. You like, because he's been like singing my praises for time now. Of but course. people are like, mm, but now this is your time to shine. Like, so okay. it was. It was good. Like, and it, it gave hope. Like to like the other players, the other players in, in the team. Like everyone's looking at it. Like, raw Like, like yeah, he's starting next game. Or he's he's come off the bench. Like, so everyone's still looking in mm. and preying what I'm doing mm. and how I'm doing. Mm. And it's like. I think who else kicked on? I think Romney kicked on from yeah. from that time. Uh, yeah, exactly. Went on to Huddersfield. I can't remember who else was on our team. There was a few, man, a few, in players our, there that was a few man on our team. But it, it, sure. In the whole line of m there's obviously of been course. players that have kicked on in that. Yeah. And then, yeah, so like then, I'm, then I'm at Enfield Town. So yeah. now I'm at Enfield Town. The now. manager there is Brad The manager there is Brad, Brad Quinton. Mm. They've got me on, like, so I've done the season. I've done, I've got to half the season. Yeah. I'm trying to renegotiate and, uh, like, better so money. Let's, you say renegotiate. So when you first go in, obviously up until now, you're playing football and I don't think money's ever been mm-hmm. an issue. So you're now sort of playing first team for a step three football club. When does the first conversation happen to say, is there a little bit of expenses or no something? Is, I don't, how, how did remember, that even I don't even remember. Like, my, mem- my memory's so bad. I don't even remember how that conversation happened. Mm. But I just remember being on some peanuts. Like, they had me on peanuts. Like, they had me on peanuts. But you say peanuts, you had gone from nothing to something. Yeah, it's nothing to something. But for what I was doing, it's peanuts. What was you doing? I was doing my thing. thing, (laughs) And what is your thing, Percy? So when you say your thing, thing, tell me what your thing is. When I'm playing centre back, you're not going. I'm not winning. I probably won't win no headers. Mm. The guy next to me has to do that. Do that, yeah. I'm gonna clear everything up. Mm. Anything that goes in behind, you're not getting there. I'm gonna get there. Okay. Playing out from the back, starting up attacks from the back. I'm doing that. Composure. I'm doing that. Okay. no own goals. I've never scored no own goals. So you're bringing a lot to the table. I'm bringing, I'm bringing the table, not a lot. To the table. I'm bringing the table. I'm bringing the table. Oh, I love that. I love that. So, in your opinion, they put you on peanuts. On you finished peanuts. off the season, so you're going to start a new season with them. You want to renegotiate? Nah, I wasn't even trying to renegotiate. Okay, so I wasn't even trying to renegotiate because um. They had me on peanuts, but you see me, I'm not a dumb kid, like. So I'm asking everyone else what they're on, and I'm seeing. Like, that's what I'm doing, like, rah, rah. Like, okay. oh, that's what's going on. Yeah. So I think I've gone to talk to Brad now, like, but these times I'm still like a little kid. Yeah. Like, to Brad, like, Brad is oh, filling me, like, he's giving me hella stories, like. Yeah. Giving me hella stories and. Like, at the time, obviously, you can't chase the money because you ain't really done You ain't anything. done much However, yet. Mm. like, I do understand that. Uh, if you've got another option, mm. you should, like, use that as a, as a like, what's it? Bargaining. Yeah, 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 a yeah. bargaining chip. Yeah. Because, obviously, they're going to understand your value, like, because okay. someone else is going to want you for more, like. Okay. But they're seeing it, obviously. They give, they've given me an opportunity, which I understand they mm-hmm. have. Mm-hmm. However, I've... Got the opportunity now, and I've done you've my thing done with your, the, yeah, with the opportunity. It. Okay. So obviously, at the time, 
ended up staying with that, staying with yeah. the peanuts and that. Okay. And then the end. Are, are you playing more regular now? Are you seeing more so regular? I'm in, out, I'm, I'm in and out. Like, but I'm playing well, but I'm in and out. I played, I played probably like 30, 30 games or something. Okay. But there was a few games I was on bench. Should have never been on bench. Okay. But when you're young like that, sometimes you just got to swallow the pill. Yeah. It's one of them ones. You're going to be a scapegoat sometimes. Like, you're the easiest man to drop. Yeah. You can't go and tell the experienced man that's played 200 first team games or whatever. Like, yo, I'm not dropping. I'm yeah. dropping you today because you weren't good enough. But the young guy... Of course. Meant to be so like happy that he's, he's in this environment. Exactly. You're the guy that they can drop. You also mentioned something when we spoke earlier that also where you come from in terms of the club you come from plays a part. Yeah, obviously. So because you had come from Enfield Borough, do you think that that had also played a little part in them treating you a certain way? Yeah, because it's like now, like when people hear, oh yeah, I come from Colchester, they treat me in a certain way. When they, when they say, oh, I come from Enfield Borough, that it was like, at the time, you're looking at me like, oh, like, this is a new club. Mm. So it's like, oh, like... It's yeah. unproven, like... Yeah, you're not um, you're not proven. Mm. That's everyone's thing. You're not proven in this league. Like. Mm. So mm. I can't give you that I money. I, you I've that got money. to give the guy that's proven. But the guy that's proven in this league is not always necessarily the better player, of course. you know? Of course. Like, there's a lot of proven players <laughs> that are dog poo, like, <laughs> especially, like, in... Conference, Ryman, mm. like a lot of proven players are dog. Yeah, but they've got and a name. They've, they've got, got a history. Name. And that's what comes to bite managers a lot about managers in the arse. You're too busy chasing proven, proven players. These proven players come to now become unproven. Mm. Mm. You come see it in your own eyes. In like, your yeah, own eyes. He's not as, yeah. he's not that guy no more. Exactly. The legs have gone. He's older. Yeah. Can't like, cover the ground. So, so with that, mm. it was a bit mad. So, so you're in and out at, at Enfield, in and out. What's what? What's the next stage? So in and out at Enfield, and then I've the I played. I think Harlow near the end of the season. Okay. Played centre back, and I was doing what I was doing at Enfield Borough. Okay. I'm talking to the striker. I'm telling him, bro, like you, you're having a stinker. You scored twelve goals this season. Like, I don't know how you scored twelve <laughs> goals. Like I can't believe it. Yeah. I'm just being nasty. Like I'm a not like when I play football, I'm nasty. Mm. Like, Mm. Not, not, not nasty to injure you yeah of course but just but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah which you need to be so he's gone I think he's told Lee he's told the assistant manager at St Albans okay about me he said that's that, the striker for yeah, Harlow for Harlow who you was getting in his head yeah has he's told St Albans St Albans assistant like yo this guy is or was it Mario I think it might have been Mario that told him okay he's like oh yeah like this guy like he's a joke like He's talking, laughing, pinging it. Like, he's he's having a field day. Like, okay. it's, it's too easy for Yeah, him. yeah. So, and then after that, this was I was playing centre-back. Then I was playing for New Salamin. Oh, yeah. New Salamino. Yeah. I was playing for them in the FA Sunday Cup. That's what I'm saying. Even Sunday League, like, you can get things you off a of Sunday League. You can get opportunities, yeah. So, I played in the FA Sunday Cup in Sheffield. So, you actually got all the way to the final. If yeah, we went to the final. So, it was at Sheffield. I think Sheffield went... Is that, where's Bramwell Lane? Who's Bramwell That's Lane? Sheffield United. Yeah, Sheffield United Stadium. Mm -hmm. Mad stadium. Cold. Like, it was... Like, it was like basically playing at Wembley. Yeah, of course. Stadium's cold. Grass, nice. Like, yeah. we played some team Hardwick. Okay. Like, they apparently they've been playing together since they were in school. Like, they are 30-year-olds. Old, old men. Like, yeah. But they were good. But a good unit. Yeah. They were good. Like, so we played them. And I swear to you, if I show you the videos, I was moving crazy. Like, I was moving like... Pogba when he was playing in UV. Okay. I was okay. moving serious. Yeah, okay. Like. So um, I've ripped it up. Mm. They gave the goalkeeper the man in match, but the FA tweeted about me saying, listen, I got a shout out to number eight, Percy. Okay. He get man in the match, but it was great. Okay. And I think Lee's seen it now. Yeah. He said, you know what? Like, there must be something about something this about kid. This, like. Yeah. And I and then he's like, you know what? Come down. And I've come, I've ended up going there. Okay. With my mate, Harold. Because Harold signed from Enfield Town as well. Okay. So, so two of you have gone to St. Albans. Enfield Town from Sen to okay. St. Albans. So we both gone at the same time. Well, it's a jump up, isn't it? So Enfield Town step three at yeah. that time. And St. Albans is step two. Is it one division? Yeah, step two. What did you find when you went? Talk to me about the differences in, in training, the differences in the quality of players. What was the differences jumping up? I feel like you, you see in, in um, conference stuff, you see more ex-pros. Mm-hmm. You're seeing a lot more experienced players, and then you obviously you're getting more players that are coming out on loan. Okay. You get more players that are coming out from like the, like the league. Yeah. Coming in. So talk to me about the differences. What's the differences in training? Is it tempo? I wouldn't say. Is I would, it quality? You see, is with it? training, you see, with training. Like, yeah. It just depends on what team you're with, you're with, really. Like 
every manager has their different style, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like obviously Ian's a bit older. Yeah. He's more, he's more like a, a Fergie. Now Fergie won't really take training and that. Like, yeah. He'll just oversee Oversee it. it, yeah. He oversees it, obviously. Yeah. But then like being at Concord and Scopes, he gets a bit more into like training and that as well. So okay. like, it just depends on what manager kind of you're playing for, really. But I'm saying the players. The players, the I players. feel like the players, like you get more, you get, I think you get more players yeah. that are hungry. Okay. In the conference south, like you're going to get more players that like want to excel and want to push on like. Okay. And like it's a bit more, I wouldn't say it's a... So you didn't see dramatic differences nah, there wasn't in a, there wasn't technique a, and... There wasn't, a, there wasn't a dramatic difference I've seen in technique, like, because you get good players on bo in both in leagues. Both like, leagues. Okay. But I, I feel like there's maybe, like, more, like, tactical awareness, like... Okay. I say a bit more tactical awareness, yeah. like, like, you know, like, cool, a lot of teams are going to try a smart corner. Yeah, yeah, smart yeah, yeah. Okay. Or something like that, but... So that comes out more in the conference itself. itself. Okay. And then, like, you'll get... You'll catch more teams trying to play it mm. like, i feel like in the in the Ryman at the time i think it was only like bogner that were playing bogner were playing at the time only mm. bogner i think worthing playing now as well yeah but i feel like yeah it was only... well, when you say play like play through the thirds and yeah okay like, keep the ball down and keep the ball down mm. like but in conference south you're gonna get you're gonna catch a lot of teams a lot that more are, teams do a lot that. more teams that are trying to play okay so you've gone to st albans do you believe do you believe you belong there where you overawed how, how, how do you feel when you got into that environment I was just hungry, like I was the same. I was the same as I was at M4 Borough. Mm -hmm. I was on it, so I've gone there. Mm -hmm. Like managers looking at me, like bloody hell, you got a lot of energy. Like I'm there running around, tackling, shooting, doing mm -hmm. everything that I can. Like and he, 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 he they were loving it. Like they were, okay. I was tenacious. Like I was hungry. Okay. So they were, they were loving me at St Albans. Like, I was doing my thing pre-season. I done well and that as well. Okay. Start of the season come. Obviously they had their their. their uh, midfield three already yeah so the okay. start of the season come now i'm thinking yeah cool i'm probably gonna start but then i understand like football football so i wasn't really starting okay like first probably like five games mm -hmm. then I, I i come into the squad mm -hmm. i come into the team the starting 11 done all right doing i was doing all right i was doing all right starting to progress yeah and then i think we played chelmsford Okay. And I tore them apart, tore them in the arsehole. Like, oh, you, you started that game? Yeah, I started Chelmsford okay. away. Mm -hmm. Tore them, tore them apart. I remember Scott Davis, he wrote an article about it. He wrote three, he put three players in the article to go pro. Okay. At the time, after okay. that game. And, yeah. And all three of us, all, all three of us went pro. Okay. All three, all three of us went pro. It's interesting. So he definitely saw something there. Yeah. So just before we go on a little bit, I remember when we had our sort of pre-chat. You mentioned the time where Brad put you on the bench oh. at at um, Enfield, yeah. and you didn't really take to that too kindly at the time. Yeah. I don't really want to delve into that too much. But now you've gone to St Albans, and again you find yourself on the bench. Were there any lessons you learned from the first time? Maybe you know what like it is the first the time. So the first time, I, so I was on a bench. I've come off. I've I've come from being on the bench from a game. The game before, I was man of the match. Okay. I was man of the match the game before, and then the next game, you're telling me about the guys. I think he said the guy's tall. Yeah. So he wants to like get a taller defender. Defender. But the defender was a much. The other defender was a much taller than me. So I'm saying that's a bunch of bollocks. Yeah. Like, I'm not having it. Like, if you're going to bench me, bench me and bench me. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. You get benched in football. Yeah. That's how it goes. Mm -hmm. But don't lie to me and come and give me that kind of bollocks. Okay. So I, I was annoyed about that. So I've all kicked up a fuss and rear to, to. Yeah. But when I went to St. Albans and I was like, you know what? They're not better than me, the players that are in front of me. Mm -hmm. However, it's like one's the captain. One was already there from last season and the other's already there from last season. So I understand why you're going with what you're going. Yeah. I respect it. So, but, but when I'm saying, I get did you see a change inside yourself though? So you nah, wasn't it wasn't a change. change. It wasn't a change. It wasn't a change. Myself. Yeah. It was just, I understood the situation for what it was. Okay. So it's like, I'm, I'm a fair person. Like. Okay. I understand that these are, these are your guys that done well. They've done, they've done well. You, you believe in them. But when I get my chance, chance. I'm going to show you yeah. why I should be playing. And the only reason I'm stressing this, Percy, is because there's a lot of young players today that go to clubs and don't want to be patient. They want to play straight away. Yeah. And I just want them to understand that there's times where you are going to have to bite the bullet, yeah. bide, your, bide your time. But then when you get your opportunity, 
that's when you've got to show. Yeah, but you have to do your thing when you, you get have your to, opportunity. That's the thing. But I don't want young players thinking they can just go to clubs and if it don't work out, they start kicking up fuss straight away because I think some players these days have that in their mind. Uh, having a lot of play. clubs on your CV is not a good look. Yeah, uh, exactly. It, it looks like basically you can't settle in nowhere mm -hmm. and you're di or you're disruptive or you're a bad apple. Like, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it makes it look like yeah. you're, 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 a pro you're problematic. Cool. So, so you've bided your time. You've got to Chelmsford. You've destroyed them. Articles are being written about you. Seems like everything's everything's buzzing. Are you still on peanuts, or have the peanuts been upgraded? It's still in in in, in the grand scheme of things, it's still peanuts. <laughs> yeah. in the grand scheme of things, it's still peanuts. But uh, like it's better than what I was. What you was on? Okay, so Saint Albans. How long does that journey last? And then when does the sort of opportunity to be Come a professional where it's head. So St Albans, they, then that first season, they, I think they offered them, offered me a deal in like December or January or something like that. So you was non-contract initially. Non-contract initially, and then they have put you on a contract. In like December or something, they okay. put me on a non-contract um, um, for eighteen months. Okay. So the eight, the contracts basically run for two for two seasons. So they put me on the the season's finished now. I've basically played. Like Enfield Town, half of my games at centre back, half of my games in centre mid. Okay. And I done probably, I probably done, I probably done, I done well. I done, I, I made a name for myself, a, a a big name for myself at centre back. Okay. Because I was doing like all sorts of yeah, things at centre back, centre like, back, drag yeah. backs in the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just playing like comfortable on the ball, yeah, like, playing out. Okay. And then, and then I had like a good like for my last ten games. I scored a few goals in that as well. Like, so it, it just worked. It worked well for me. Like, mm. I had a lot of teams looking at me. Okay. I had a lot of teams looking at me. But then I sometimes, some games that, I think England C manager came to watch me. Okay. And it's like, every time he came to watch me, I played shit. <laughs> I don't want to get it. And yeah. my gaffer always used to say after the game, like, oh yeah, you England C manager came to watch you today. Mm. Fucking play pony like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Did you, just out of interest, did you know he was coming before nah, the game? Nah, I never know. Okay. He never used to tell me because okay. he didn't want me he to didn't play. Want, like, yeah, of course. He used to tell me after. Mm. And like sometimes it was like a night out or uh, I don't know, like, because I used to still go out a lot. Like I used to do go shows of abs. Okay. So we'll go, I would go straight from a show. Yeah. Straight to, to a game. Okay. Okay. Like I was even, and then, these are smoking stuff like this, so they're smoking around me. I'm on a tour bus. I'm going to a game in a tour bus. Mm, I won't mm. take the coach sometimes. I'm going to the game in a tour, tour bus. bus. Okay, These okay. Are smoking it out in the tour yeah, bus. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. I'm, so again, I'm a bit. It's not the best preparation. It's not the best preparation. Mm. So probably like if I was a bit more prepared, yeah, I would have been in a better position. position okay, I would have been okay. in a better position for okay. sure. But you're doing well. You're, you're doing still doing well. well. Not in front of the England C manager, but you're doing I'm well. Doing well. Yeah, and then. And opportunity then, knocks. There's an opportunity that raises its head. Yeah. So, coach. So he. So he tells me, yo, like, he, so I, my agent. So I get a no. So we play Boreham Wood. Okay. We play Boreham Wood that season, and I have an agent that comes to um to watch to watch. Okay. Not the same one from before. Nah. No. Another one. Okay. So an agent comes to watch me now. Mm -hmm. He comes to watch the game, and then he, he's like, oh yeah, like he's like, oh yeah, like he's talking to someone. Mm. And then he's gone around the. I'm thinking he's gone around the corner. He ends up being my agent. I said, "Bro, look, what kind of agent this? He wants to chat to people. He's coming with boot cuts. Like, are you chatting to an agent with boot cuts? Mm -mm -mm. That's behind me. Like, I'm thinking, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> but then he's ended up asking for my number. You know, yeah. asking because I've been so rude. Let me just give you the number. number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy's banging me down, banging me down. He's chat, trying to like link me, trying yeah. to work with me. Yeah. And I'm saying, look, like this guy's eager to work with me, like so he must see something in, in you. Okay, see, see something. Had in you had in other you. approaches before from I've other had, people? I've had, I've, I spoke to a lot of agents okay. at the time, like uh, like a lot of agents. I probably like t I met like ten agents. Okay, but obviously at the time, I was managing abs, so I kind of know like I'm basically an agent myself. Yourself, like, anyway. So I kind of know like how. And you're just for the viewers, because not everyone you've mentioned abs a few times. Who is abs? Abracadabra. Okay. So I'm managing Abracadabra at the time. So I kind of know like how an agent's kind of meant to move like and how you, like how you're meant to conduct yourself and how you're meant to approach certain things. Mm. So like, and obviously I, oh, me, I'm a man. I, I'm open. Like, I'll ask anyone. Like if I see someone, if a lot of agents are 
message people on Twitter. Mm. I don't know why. Like Twitter's like the LinkedIn the for link. football. Yeah, of course. Like, for football, like, mm. and I would see who follows you and ask a man and they say, oh, nah, this guy just cares about the money. This guy's this, like, this guy's that. So I would always ask, like, so I met a lot of agents at the time. Mm. None of them were kind of for me. Okay. But then him, he, I don't know, like, he was, he was, I, I like the way they move, like, so there was a few of them now. Mm. Went to go meet them, went to not go signing with them, and they were working on a few things with me. So they were telling me at the time there was a few teams, I think like Reading or something like that. Like, okay. I can't remember who, like, where there was a lot of teams. Yeah. Someone's come now, he's like, you know what? Someone's come, they're ready, like, Colchester wanna come in for you. Okay. He wanted me to go to Colchester. Okay. So I've come in now, I've gone into training one time. Gaffers yeah. pulled me aside, like, yeah, Colchester, like, looking to put in a bid for you. They want you there, to, to. Okay. However, they're gonna send you to Morden. More than step four. Yeah. I'm step two. You're already, yeah. I'm saying, huh? He's saying, yeah. So the contract is basically you do one year at more than, and then you do what? The second year with the first team. At Colchester. Yeah. Mm. And the gap, my gaff was telling me like, that's bollocks. Like you've, you're, you're proven that. Like, yeah. What they're trying to basically tell you to do is get, help their team get promoted. Mm. And then, yeah, whatever happens, happens. Like you get your coaches to think for getting their From team. getting their team promoted. promoted. So there's That's some sort of relationship between Molden and, yeah. and so Colchester. A lot of players that are Molden train full time with Colchester. Oh, okay. I don't know if they still do that. Okay. But, like, and then obviously the coaches, the Molden manager will work at Colchester full time. Oh, okay. Kind of so thing, there's, like, there's clearly some sort of relationship. Yeah, it's like their feeder, ca- yeah. feeder club, sorry, kind okay. of thing. Okay. So boom now. I'm chatting to my manager. He's telling me, nah, it's not, that's not it for you. Like you can, you've had like other teams like looking at you. Mm-hmm. New, new assist, Lee, Lee Allison, the assistant. Yeah. Who basically got me in my, my, the gaffer's son. He yeah. He left. He went to go, he went, he got a, he got a job as a manager. Okay. So he's left now. The gaffer's bought in Glenn, Glenn Alice, Alipazadi. Okay. So he's bought in this Glenn guy, bold guy, old yeah. guy. Uh-huh. Just, didn't work out me and him like we that there was a few players like uh, that so that season we've gone from like just missing the pr- um, promotion spot yeah to like they ended up nearly getting relegated, relegated. that season all in one season all and in you're one. putting it all on this new assistant oh 100 percent. okay because now he left and then now they were on top of the league mm. Mm. worst assistant <laughs> Major the camera gets that worst assistant i've ever had Get zoom in. Worst assistant. <laughs> Worst assistant I've ever had. Like, yeah. What? Well, he tried well. to like he tried to tarnish my thing like. Mm-mm. So he he come in. Yeah. It just it was a few of us. He wasn't feeling me so. Okay. Like, he used to call us lazy and that. But like if we had like the like running thing, but we used to run up. We used to yeah. run like. And yeah. He's calling us lazy. So went from playing every. So didn't get sub one minute played every single game the season before before yeah so I, like a lot of teams were looking at so at the time as Ex- well exactly to being on the bench now like so okay. he come in he mm. messed it up for me like mm. he just he wasn't feeling me okay I, and i wasn't hitting he wasn't feeling me and then like my performance has started to started decrease to yeah like they weren't like i'm a man i need to be playing when i'm happy of like. course of so course my performances are not hitting they're not hitting the heights that i need them to hit like of course so is working hand in hand, like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then Gaffer's like, I spoke to Gaffer. I'm saying to Gaffer, Yo, Gaffer, I want to bust out. But these times, I don't even like, I forgot about all Colchester and that. Like, mm-hmm. I'm saying, Yo, Gaffer, I want to bust out. Like, listen, like, me and him had a good enough relationship. relationship so, yeah, like, yo, he's like, You know what? It's obviously the Christmas period, Boxing Day period, and that. There's a lot of games. Mm-hmm. He's like, Stay with Stay me, around. help me out, yeah, play a couple games in this, in this thing, put mm-hmm. it all out. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to speak to the chairman to get a mutual termination, but it's going to be hard, like, because obviously... Because at this stage, you're on a contract, aren't you? I'm on a contract, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously, you've had teams that have inquired for you. Exactly. So if you go, now you're going to... They're not going to get no money No out money of out of it, yeah. But he's like, I don't want to keep you somewhere and you're not happy. Of course. And then, I think I even got injured at the time. I got injured some time before that as well. Mm-hmm. I was out for, like, two months. And then, yeah, like, so he, he was like... The Christmas period come, I think January, January comes on near the end of January. I've ended up leaving St. Albans. Oh, wow. Okay. So mutual termination, I've ended up leaving. Leaving them. Okay. And I remember when I was leaving, I'm like, like, I've come in, everyone's training. Mm-hmm. I've come in to sign my team for the mutual termination. The mutual termination, yeah. 
And then, but Ian's got all the boys in together so I can tell the boys that I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Guy Glenn, he's there just setting up cones and that. Like, he's not even looking at like, it. He's not part of it. Mm-hmm. Like, he's just setting up his cones. He don't care. Mm. I think mm. he's even doing this on his. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, dancing, like, yeah, dancing. yeah, yeah. So that's when I knew, like, yeah, this guy, had a, he had a vendetta against mm, 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 mm. And I don't pin vendettas for no reason. Like, yeah, I know a lot of things are self inflicted. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not deluded. So cool now. He's end, I've ended up busting out. Mm-hmm. I've ended up leaving. So at this stage, you got no club? I've got no club. But I know Boron, this time I played Boron Wood like, not too long ago. I knew the Boron Wood manager liked me and that. But I'm thinking, like, my phone's not ringing, like, but I'm thinking my phone's going to be going off. Yeah, of course. My phone's not ringing. Not ringing. I'm thinking, bro, like, what's going on? Like, mm. I don't know what's happening. So my phone's not ringing. It's been like second day now. Mm. My agents phone me like, yo, you want to go Colchester? Saying go Colchester for what? He's like, yeah, they still want to sign you. Like, mm. I'm thinking, ah, oh, cool. Give me this. Give me a couple hours. Like, calling me back in a couple hours. I didn't even think about it. I went, I went about my day. Yeah, of course. And he's phoned me back like, yeah, like, what are you saying what for you? Colchester? Yeah. I'm saying, yeah, like, fuck it. Like, let's just go. Like, it is what it is. Mm. Just pick me up. We've gone to Colchester. I think the next day, so I think I've, I've, I've it's like the Tuesday I've I've got let go. Mm-hmm. I've got released. And I think the Thursday I think I've gone. So before Saturday. the end of the week, yeah, you've you've found yourself in Colchester. I found myself in Colchester. League two, League two, professional gone there. setup. Gone there. I've met the chairman. The mm. chairman's taking me around. Chairman showed me his house. His house is crazy. Okay. He's just showing me around town. He's showing me like he showed me where they're gonna build like some new houses for all the players. Okay. Telling me, yeah, you're gonna live here soon. These mm. times I'm still living with my mom. I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna be living by myself. How many coaches the coaches girls I'm gonna bring? Like <laughs> this is crazy. And it was the chairman that had shown interest in you. The first so time the out. first time, like I only found out when I was at Colchester that the chairman was the chair. So the chairman showed interest in me, mm-hmm. and then he sent a few of like technical some stuff or yeah some stuff like that mm-hmm. like them kind of names like he mm-hmm. sent them to watch me okay so they had a profile of yeah you. they knew what they were getting themselves yeah they were getting themselves into so yeah and boom now i was just like you know what like forget like i might as well just go there do my thing like obviously the guy like my agent showed me like yeah listen you're gonna go with the 23 get fit and then go with the first with team. the first team okay like, yeah calm like i don't mind like okay it's not no more than a tip tree thing like yeah and then I was like, cool. So you've gone there. What's what's on the table? And it, 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 some sort of deal, contract-wise? Yeah, like, they've got the contract there. I've just read through the contract myself and that as well. And then I've just signed the contract. Okay. How long? What period are we talking about? 18 now? months They've given well. you an 18-month contract. Yeah, so gave me... Like your lucky number or something. That's the second, yeah, that's second, the second 18-month 18 18 contract. So hmm. I'm thinking, like... I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, if they're giving me 18 months and coaches are, like, young, young players... Mm. I'm like, what, 21, 22? So in their eyes, I'm even a bit old. Mm. Like, 20, I'm just thinking, so they're rating me. Like, they, they must... They like, must like. They must team. like me mm-hmm. a lot. But obviously, it's not the first team gaffer that's actually signed me. Mm. So that's why it got a bit political as well, because it's like, the gaffer's the one who picks the squad. Of course. The, the gaffer picks the team. So the agent, I mean, the, the, the chairman. chairman only got so much say. Like, of course. So it was a bit of a techie one. I didn't go on trial, nothing like that. My thing is about going on trials. Like, I don't really like it because it's like, I've played enough men's football. Yeah. I've kind of like made enough of a name for myself for me to be going on on trial. Like, mm. it's like, then you shouldn't sign me then because you don't know about me. Like, then you don't know what you're, you're getting yourself into kind of thing. Mm. But obviously, unless I'm going to like, champel or, 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 or prem, prem you. I know you then, said that before, but I must say again, and I think I said it to you the first time around, doesn't that sound, even now hearing it back, doesn't that sound a little bit egotistical from you? Not because, really. I'm not arrogant, but I, like, I understand my worth. Like, But you're saying that, but you've, up until this moment, you would not ventured a second into the professional game. League 2 and Conference South is not b- b- uh, that much of a difference. In what sense to you? Well, what's not Everything different? from every... Okay. The only difference is, is like, you train more. Yeah. And you like, you're like... um. You train more, they're more tactically aware. Okay. But a lot of, like, Conference South players can play in League 2 easily. Okay. Easily. A lot, some Conference South teams will will smash League 2 teams. Mm. I put, like, I used to watch coaches start, like, week in, week out. Like, yeah, of course. We ain't got nothing to do on a Saturday. I'm going to watch coaches. You're going to watch I'm looking. I'm, I'm thinking... Mm. What's going on here? Like, you, you get your co- occasional, sorry, players that are... Yeah. Yeah, whoa. Standouts. Like, yeah, like... Mm. But... 
in all in all, the football is the same. Like the football doesn't even stay on the pitch for probably twenty minutes of the game. Yeah, yeah. I think it's boof, 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 boof. And it's interesting you say that because obviously there's a lot of people, a lot of managers, a lot of people in the game that say football's almost like a a sliding doors opportunity. Mm. And there's loads of players that don't make it into the professional game yeah. that were good enough to make it and are just as good as those there. And so sometimes us out of the game, we look at professional football and think it's, oh, these guys had to be so good to get there. But the story you're saying is, it's not necessarily that the case. And I feel like maybe like if you're playing in a Prem and stuff. Yeah, like, but we're here at League Two, culture stuff. Two, and you're two. saying that there were players potentially at St. Albans that could have made the jump, not just yourself. 100%. But like there's players now like that are probably like at St. Albans, like my mate, so mm. hand on heart. He can walk into Colchester's Colchester. team right now, like okay, and be one of their best players, like their star players. It's good. It's and good like, to hear this. It's and good it's that like, you were there. You were there, and you're, you're giving us this sort of feedback. Cause and it's like now I see players that play, mm. and it's like no disrespect to no one, but like you're not good, like you're not you're not great. Mm. But then I see players that like like one of their main guys has come from playing Ryman football. He wasn't even he. So Kwame Kwame was playing Ryman. He was playing under 18s or something like that. And then he couldn't even get the, to their first team. Mm. Craig's first of team. The Ryman, one of them yeah. team. Or whatever, and then he's Ryman gone team, to Colchester. And he's gone to Colchester. But he's mad. So it's like, it just shows, he's so good. Like, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. shows football's just football. opinions. It's about opinions. Like, exactly. It's where yeah. you go and where, who, who, who takes into you. Like, exactly. So it's just like. Exactly. So just another side before it leaves my mind. You've gone to Colchester, which potentially means a move from home. You've left home to go there. Yeah, I've left home. What was that for you? Is that the first time you've left home, potentially, or? You know? Yeah, that's the first time I've left home. Okay, so that's how was that? Time. Being away from mum, dad, brother, sister. You know what? I don't. I, I didn't. I didn't. I don't spend. I, at the time, I wasn't spending a lot of time on, at home. I was at a lot of shows and stuff like this. So. So you was kind of on the road. Anyway. Yeah, I was on the road anyway, so okay. it was alright. Like it wasn't no. I literally packed, packed my car, mm -hmm. put my TV in there, mm -hmm. put a few stuff in there. And I just done the drive. Like, okay. The drive's not a long drive. Like if you're putting your foot down, it could be like a forty-five minute drive. Like. Okay. Okay. So it's not it's not that far. Not that far anyway. So okay. it's like, but obviously I was going to live in a house. Yeah. Which is teammates carnage. Okay. Like it was carnage. Like it was like. Yeah. It was that like basically going to like you know how people describe you? Uni. Uni. Like, yeah, of course. It was basically like that. So where was the um? Where was the mentorship? Where was the club looking after? We got young players on board that's supposed to be working their way to be pros and they've just left you to get on with it. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, there's no, there's no like kind of, it's just when you do something, you're in trouble. Like there's no like, yo, we got a cleaner. That's about it. Like, that, that's the only help that you get in the house, a cleaner. So looking back on it now, would you have benefited from a club representative or some sort of mentor being more closer to, to you outside of the football Me, club? Me, myself, no. Okay. But other players, most definitely. Okay. Like, I don't, I, I wouldn't rely on no one or I wouldn't go to no one. Like, even at the time, sorry, I wouldn't do that. Like, but other players, like, need that kind of, like, smothering and that yeah, help kind help of thing. To get through So I feel like process. a lot of other players probably, like, wouldn't need, like, would need it. Like, you've got some, I don't even know what you call it, liaison officer or something yeah. like that. But they're not, like, they're there for everyone and there's, like, a lot of us. Of course. So, so it's you not don't being, get that individual yeah. relationship. Because okay. sometimes you're like 19, you're going to live by yourself. Now. Exactly. So like, let's say if you come straight from the academy yeah, and then you're 19, you go from living at digs with like a family, a family. and do everything for you. Now exactly. you live by yourself. Exactly. So like that can be daunting to certain people. Of course like, so it is. A bit of help, a bit of help wouldn't go amiss. Okay. So we're at Colchester, brand new environment, professional football, signed an 18 month contract. What happens? Go in. First day of training with the twenty threes. The manager, the the twenty threes manager, don't even know who I am. Okay, He's asking me on my try list. Hmm. I'm looking at him like, what? Like, how, what is going on here? Like, you don't even know who he's meant to be. They get bare try lists though. We get so many try lists like, every day. There's probably, sometimes like the session can be nine try lists in the session. You know. Okay. On top of the team. On top of the team. So mm. he doesn't know who I am. We've done a little like we've done some drills. It's all right. But first, I'm settling in now. Like, you get it? I'm settling in. I think they trained. So they trained. We've gone out on a Saturday. I remember. I'll never forget this Kenny All-Star party. Mm. Went to some party. Mm. Ended up getting myself in a bit of trouble. Yeah. 
got arrested Sunday morning. You trained Sunday with the match. I had a 23s match, my first 23s match on a Monday. Okay. But Sunday morning, I mean, you're meant to train. Yeah. I'm in a police station. Okay. So you've uh, missed training. I've missed training now. Like, I've texted the gaffer, like, yo, like, <laughs> I texted him, like, yo, training. I see his message. I said, training? I'm mm. acting like, what? Training? What's going on? Training? Yeah, yeah. I said, I come from non league gaff. Like, I don't know nothing about training before. On the, the Sunday. Game. We train Tuesday, Thursday, like, Sunday before the game. You need to be relaxed. You're telling me about <laughs> training. I was just sleeping. Mm. What's going on? Mm. He said, oh, I was going to, I was going to, I was going to take you out the team, but cool, whatever it is, what it is. But from there, my mind is shit elsewhere. Yeah. We played Palace now. I played Palace. That was the game on the Monday. Yeah, Monday I played Palace. Mm -hmm. Bare little rats. Like, that's how I can describe them, just little rats. Bare energy. I and, thought I had energy. Yeah. They ain't, they ain't, like, they're good, like, technically and that, but they, they ain't playing with no purpose. Like, they're popping it and that. Mm -hmm. But we're getting dick down as well like but i'm doing my thing like i'm like i'm doing all right like i ain't doing great i won't say i'm wowing yeah but i'm doing all so right, you like. feel a difference in the pace of the game though yeah the pace is fast okay it's fast but obviously i haven't really been playing as well so i don't know if that was like part, part of it, of it mm -hmm. as well i haven't really been playing like mm -hmm. consistently but the pace of felt a bit fast okay and then yeah cool played a few games after that yeah and then obviously my whole situation where i got arrested came to light and then from there like this is in my first month or something that situation came to light. Yeah. And then from there, like, I had, like, some... I already had a negative stigma. So even the managers knew, like, bro, like... I, the managers come to me, like, bro, like... The coaches, sorry, abracadabra, yeah, like... Like, you know, they're doing this. And I'm like, come What's on. What's going like, on? Yeah. Like, like, everyone talks, innit? Like, yeah. talk, like, especially, like, like under 18. So, to, to, before we go further, to, you're managing a... A rap artist, is it? Yeah. yeah. So sort of artist. And you're trying to do your football thing. Quite clearly already, we've seen that there's clashes. Clash. You're, you're having even to go to games on the tour bus even. Yeah. It, it, so how did you visualise you were going to be able to juggle the two? And if it came to a point where to proceed your professional career, you would have had to, you know, give it up did, did the managing on abs a bit. How, how was you thinking this was going to pan it out? It did come to a point because like, me and Abs always knew from young, like we always said it, like it was just a matter of helping each other elevate. Mm -hmm. So at the time, it was like I was helping him elevate in terms of his music, his music. by managing him. Yeah. Like, I was helping him elevate. Mm -hmm. And he's got to that stage now. Yeah. Now it was time to help me elevate. So he was using all his connections that he's learned through music mm -hmm. to help me like get to get to that pro in what sense? What so sense like, could his connections help you, for example? So like he would shout, he would shout, he would shout bare different people, like whatever I needed, like in terms of football. I remember that game, that 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 game at Bramall Lane. Okay. Little things like he got Adidas to like I didn't, I could have done it myself, but he's got Adidas to send me boots to the to the stadium, like make okay. sure I'm pattern. Okay. Rise and Ballers. That's how I met Rise and Ballers free abs. Okay. Like abs sent my video over to Rise and Ballers. Like listen, this is my this is my manager. Like look at him. Like he can play. He can play as well. I like okay. spoke to a few footballers, like big okay. footballers. So you were helping each other anyway. Yeah. But but now when it's got, it got to a stage to, yeah. where it looks like that now. Yeah, so it's got to that stage and then it's like, yo, my dream's happening. He's like, yeah, like, Pete, just go play your football. Like, I'm in the ends, I'm calm. Like, play your football. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I've gone to play my to football. Play so when, football. When I was at like, Colchester, I was like, you know what? This is my time. Like, I'm getting my head down. I'm just doing my football. I'm not even coming back to the ends like that. Like, yeah. just playing football mm -hmm. and obviously that's when i've stopped managing him okay okay so i'm thinking yeah cool like i can try and reverse what's happened and try and make it better for me yeah but now it's come to a stage where like it's it's, it's not working for me like no mm. nothing i'm doing is like i'm getting into silly like like little arguments in in the training ground like with coaches and mm. sports scientists or this physio and like Putting that like, down to what? Why are you getting into arguments with you people? You know what it is? Like, people felt like I didn't have a right to be who I am because I haven't played no first team games or I haven't got a name for myself, like, coming from non-league. So it's like, you ain't even got a name for yourself, but you walk around like, as if you got a name for yourself. Yeah. Like. yeah. But it's like, yeah, I do have a name for myself. Like, but obviously, probably you don't know why I've got a name for myself. Like, but I do. Like, I know why I've got a name for myself. Mm. But it's like, the person that I am, I'm a jokey, like, so I'm busting joke with certain 
coaches and that, they're looking at me like, is this guy like, this? you're not, you're not allowed to do that. To do me. that, yeah. And, uh, but the you're same, breaking protocol man, almost. Yeah. Mm. The uh, next man that's done his thing in the league, like, and he's got a name and he's the guy at the club, he's saying worse and he's getting away and with it. he's getting it, away like. with it, of course. So it's just like, you've got to play your position. Mm. Until you get to that place where you're like, that guy, you got to shut up and just sit yeah, down, uh, like, yeah. and just... And grin and bear it. Yeah. And what are you saying? That like, you wasn't willing to do that? You wasn't willing to I wasn't, play ball? It's not even I wasn't willing to play ball. Like, I was just too rash. Like, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking it, I wasn't thinking it through. Like, I was just, I was just living every day as it comes at. So, so the reason I want to deep dive on this is you've, you've reached the point where you are now a professional footballer. And I thought yeah? at the start, you're at the start of it, but you are yeah. a professional footballer. Um, if it needs, and, and, and this is why I joked right at the start about your name, PK Humble, yeah. because if it needs you to really be humble and, and take a step back and bite your tongue at times when you might want to bite back at someone, if you, if you needed to do all of that to maintain your position as a professional, where you're not, where you're not willing to do that and sort of compromise your personality a little bit. Ah. Mm, uh... I don't think I was like, and it was subconsciously as well. Like it wasn't consciously. Like, I wasn't doing it. It's like all down to like one at one time I've ended up going on loan to Morden. Mm. Despite me saying I didn't want to go, I was like, you know what? Cool. Like, let me play the game now. Like, let me play the game. I spoke to Brownie. Brownie with the manager of Morden at the time. He said, listen, obviously you've had your situations, your fair share of problems. Yeah. Come with me. Yeah. He's got a bit of say, a bit of push. Yeah. I hope you, you help me. Like, yeah. But I'm on loan now, but everyone on, everyone, so we had, we've come in for a, a normal training session whilst I'm on loan now. Yeah. Everyone's there loan and not, not loan players. Yeah. And then they, we played games at the end, but obviously when we're playing the games at the end, the manager, the, the, the 23s manager at the time, he's like, oh yeah, anyone that's on loan, you can go in. If you're not, if you're not alone, you got to stay, it's compulsory. But anyone that's on loan, you've got the option whether to stay or go. Or go. Okay. I said, I'm going to stay in it. But he, he, he didn't hear me saying I'm going to stay. Mm. So he's picking everyone's teams for the five holes because that's what they were doing. Yeah. It's five holes. So. Okay. And then, but I'm drinking my water on the side. And then they've already started the game. I've come out and I'm saying, bro, what? like, what's going, what's going on? on? Like, like mm. I'm, I'm trying to play. He said, well, the team's already picked. So, like, yeah. I'm saying, bro, like, can I go manage Magic Man? said, nah, go fuck off and do some kick up, see if you can get your higher score. That's the under 23 manager at Colchester. That's what he said to man. I couldn't believe it. Like, God's my witness. Anyone that's watching this that was at the 23s, they'll tell you with me. I turned around and I said to him, if you speak to me like that again, I'll punch you up. I'll punch your head through the ground. Hmm. I told him, like, I'll bang your head through the grass. Like, telling me, yo, shut up. All that. I'm saying, bro, like, you need to stop. You need to stop talking to me like this because I will knock you out, like, Stop doing this, like. And then I've gone to, like, the other coach and I've gone and run, like, right, like, can I play? He's in, like, he's against yeah, it. Yeah. That. They don't go against each other. Mm. I said, fuck this, then. No one's, no one's training, then. Mm. No one's allowed to train, like. I'm playing. Mm. But it's, like, things like that. Mm. And then I've walked, I've walked, I've, 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 I think I've ended up stopping it. Everyone stopped training. I think everyone had to stop, stop training, training now, yeah. Because I ain't allowing no one to talk to If me, I like, can't like, play, then yeah, that then, kind of thing. I'm walking, I'm walking back to the training ground. The training ground's like, it's a bit of a walk, like, yeah. it's like a two, three minute walk. Yeah. And the director, the director's at the balcony waiting for me already. Mm. They listen to me, telling me to come upstairs. come upstairs. yeah. I'm saying, oh my God, I haven't even had my lunch lit. Like, and everyone's got like, I'm getting whispers around the training ground. So it's like situations like that. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not even going to lie. You can't speak to me like that. That's out of order. Like, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that's, even now, like, knowing what I know now, I'm not going to allow no one to speak to me like that. It's not by Unless you're the first, maybe the, f even the first even team then. gaffer, like, mm. even that, like, mm. is a bit cheeky. Like, that's a bit cheeky. If I'm on some serious dough, oh, I'll bite my tongue, like, because <laughs> it's serious dough, but it's not. So, so the point, so I, I, I do want to play devil's advocate here. You've gone to Colchester. Yeah. You found yourself in a situation mm. that's obviously clearly affected the relationship between the club and you. Yeah, because yeah? you're the new boy. The situations happened. The relationships affected. Um, rather than going out of your way to try and mend that relationship, you're still finding problems. Whether they're 
started by you or finished by you, there's still constant problems. Yeah. It's not a healthy relationship to be in. It's not a healthy situation to be in. What kind of mental space are you in here? You're trying to be a pro. You're trying to get your game on. And it's almost like you're fighting everything at this club. What, what, what sort of mental space are you in at this stage? I'm depleted. Like, I'm at a point where I don't even get minutes for the 23s. Like, I'm not, not, no minutes for the 23s. Yeah. Like, my bedrooms, like, we sit. Like, this is how we sit. So this is the table. Yeah. I sit by myself and my bedroom sit behind me. They're back facing me. Back facing you. So you, you don't want to be, you don't want to be seen in the training ground with me. Like You, you said something to me earlier where you said it was like you, were, you had become almost like a bad egg at the club that just to be seen walking with you or, or, or communicating with you yeah, it was, was, was it seen was, as, as something wrong. As, as, that's what I'm saying to you is that's not good for you. Forget the club even. That's not good for you to be in that environment. Surely you want to come out of that situation. Yeah, so it, it comes to a point where, like, mentally, I couldn't even almost, I was depressed. Mm -hmm. Like, I've gone to the director. I said, yo, like, I'm, 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 at, like, I'm at the brink. Mm -hmm. I'm at the brink. Like, I'm, I'm close to the edge. Like, yeah, of course. I want to leave. He's saying, yeah, you can leave, but you ain't getting paid out. I'm saying, oh yeah, nah, I'm not going there. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. Yeah. So like, ultimately, it's like, yeah. Nah, he even told me like, yeah, I remember his exact words: "Take a couple of days off, sunshine." So he said, "Take a couple of days off, sunshine." He said they used to t like a few, like a, a few men were going through things like that. Yeah. Time. And they just take a couple of days off, take a week off, take as long as you need off. Need like, off, yeah. But it got to a stage where they told me just don't even come into train. I even come into train, so I was looking for my loans. So yeah, so they were happy at this stage where they were paying you your your wage, wage, but they just me, almost didn't want you on site. Yeah, almost. just not on site. Like so, so many things that happened. Like these times in the in the gaff as well. In my gaff, like the gaff that we lived in, mm. neighbors complaining, talking about girls round, there, 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 all of yeah. this. Like so, they they were just like you know You're getting pressure on the pitch, off the pitch, off the pitch, at the, the whole lot. Like so, they're telling me yo. Like, but these times I wanted to go out on loan. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the whole trial thing, but Epsfleet wanted to take me on trial. Okay. But then they're saying they've got to cover some medical expenses or rare tests, but apparently it's unheard of. And that was like the last thing kind of like my agent done for me. Like, And it was like, at the time I thought, yeah, my agent's going to like, I even lied to my agent about the whole, like, how my situation happened in a yeah. certain extent. So, obviously, now, now I understand probably why he was kind of... Tried to cut you off maybe a little Yeah, bit. so he tried to basically... Like, he basically, like, washed his hands of me. Like, so I, I, I'm phoning him, like, and I'm just... He's just airing my call, like, mm. ringing him, ringing him, mm. airing my call. Like, I can't, I can't, get, a, can't get a word out of him. To be fair to him, he's probably looking at it that he's helped you get... To he, say that. he said it to me he said and, that i helped you get to somewhere and then like you've got there and you fucked it up like and obviously people know like yeah like your reputation kind of thing like not that like i got a bad reputation mm, but mm. it's like it's like yeah like you you got a reputation but it's not necessarily bad but people kind yeah. of know who you yeah, kind of yeah. roll around with and rare to, to one of the coaches at coaches have said to me like you're a good player and that but it's just you didn't you didn't do obviously things didn't go well for you and on top of that, like, you've got to understand how to play the game. Yes. He's like, this is not non-league. Like, you've made a name in non-league, but you ain't made a name here. Like, yeah, yeah. So wait to make your name here. And, and then, then you can be like that guy. Which is the point I was trying to sort of lead to earlier about yeah. having to bite your tongue and so on. But let's not let's not dwell on that. So you're, you're having to, to, to get out of there. They've told you almost to sort your own loans out the next season, haven't they? Yeah, so the next season's come now. Pre-season's come. Yeah. I'm not even playing. Like, pre-season games are coming. I'm not even playing. Mm. I, played, I think I played one game against South End. I played against South End. And then they had me play with the under-18s. You took the words right out of my mouth because I was just about to say, we hear stories of pros that fall out have some problems at a club and then they're almost just pushed to the side and play with the 18s, play with the 23s. Yeah, I used to, sometimes I used to you train by myself as well. I used to train by myself sometimes as well. So yeah. just to, you're almost having to f fulfill the time 
to, so that they can continue to pay your wages. Yeah. But they're not really including you in anything yeah. they're doing. So okay. I've gone trained. I'm I've, I've played a preseason game with the N18s against some team called Saffron and Morden or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah. Like, like some team now mm-hmm. with the 18s and like he the 18s manager saying, "Bro, like." I'm not even doing the warm up. Like I'm not doing the warm up. You're not doing the warm up. Yeah, I'm fucking off the warm up. Like I'm just can't be asked for the warm up. I've gone into the game. Game's a bunch of bollocks as well. And I'm just like, yo, half time's come. I think I told him I'm not playing the second half or something like that. I can't mm. remember. I think it was something along those lines. Mm. So like, nah, I'm not doing it. Oh, he said that I meant to get 45. I can't remember what it was. Then he's like, yo, I'm gonna have to give a report to to the to the back to the club. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell them that. He wasn't on it. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's the truth. Like, I wasn't on it. Mm. Then, like, I trained with the first team. One, I think I t- played a match against the first team in that preseason or something like that. Yeah, I done my thing. Then the boys are asking me like, right, like, what? Why? First team players are asking me, right, why are you with? Like, why are you with the twenty three? Like? Yeah. And then obviously that's when everyone kind of got the gist of what's happened with mine and that. And then. I think I've only played, and then like, yeah, we played against Southend. That's the only I played what, like that two games, three games in the preseason. In the preseason, out of probably like ten games. Okay. Played against South, yeah. Played against Southend. Mm-hmm. Played right back. Done well as well. I was enjoying it, like, and then the first thing manager they're watching, like anyone that's watching and that's got eyes knows that I can play. Can like. Play, yeah. But obviously, then I've come back. I've said to them, yeah, let me go Ebbs Fleet. They're saying, no, nah, like, you can't go on the trail because, like, insurance and this and that and this and that and the other, just a whole load of bollocks. Then I, went, I was meant to go wing it in Finchley. Yeah. I don't know why that didn't work. And then I think my first loan was Hartford. No, Concord. It was Concord. Went mm-hmm. Concord. I was doing all right at Concord, but, you know, when you're alone, like, we was getting, we was getting slapped. I think we got slapped every single game. Like, mm. but I was doing well. But it was one of them ones that he couldn't. He said he couldn't extend my loan, loan. In a month loan. Yeah, it is what it is. And then I was like, you know what? When I was at Saint Albans, the, the, I did. I missed this bit out. But I was, I was training with one of our players called Ben Hurd. Okay, our right back at the time. Yeah, he became. He had his own training his own academy. academy. Yeah, I've heard of Ben Hurd. And his academy, I've never like that training. Even at Colchester it doesn't compare to that. That training is different. Like, it gets you sharp, gets you right, gets you disciplined. It gets every, everything you need. You got it, like... Okay. You go there, swim on a Wednesday. Yeah. Stretch in the pool on a Wednesday. It's, like, basically a pro <laughs> setup. Like, yeah, of course. used to barely do that at Colchester, let alone... Uh, and I'm training with, like, eight... I'm training, like, 16-year-olds, basically. Mm. Mm. Like, 20 at the time, like, whatever. But I was training with him at St. Albans. That's when I had, like, my peak. Your That's, peak, okay. So... He was the manager at he Hartford. He took over at Hartford, yes. So I was like, you know what? Like, if I can train full time with you, I'll sign with you. Look, like, you get it. So he was like, you know what? Yeah, that makes sense. So I trained. I was training with them with his time. academy. Yeah, and so then playing for him on the for on, the games on, on, on the on the Saturday. So I'll be training with them and that. Okay. These times, coaches told me hand my keys back in that. I handed my keys back. I wasn't I wasn't going in at all, but mo- every lone player still has to go in, except for me. I was told that you was told you don't even need to come back, yeah. but they're still paying your wages yeah. at this stage. So I'm not going in. I'm there. I'm with Hartford. Done like a couple months with Hartford. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling good. Like I'm ready. So boom, I've gone to Hendon and I finished the season. I finished the season off with Hendon. Mm finish off the season and then at one time I think I don't know why I was just on a piss about it. I was like you know what let me go into training one day the one day I just woke up I just drove to training as in Colchester, Colchester training yeah. just mm-hmm. woke up I was feeling it so and then we go drive to Colchester drove to Colchester now gone to training <laughs> it's like this old mummy <laughs> like this old ghost yeah. I've seen guys wear my, my top I'm telling you yo big man take that off like that's man that's man's number mm. Everyone's got too comfortable now. <laughs> I'm back now. Like, yo, it's like, it's like everyone was alive again. Like, I felt like, I, felt like I just, uh, just gave everyone a CPR. Like, yeah, everyone was lively, yeah, lively again. again. Okay. Like, every the smiles on the player's face, though. Yeah, like, but then, cool. Imagine they had two groups now. It's basically like a higher group and a lower group. Like, yeah. Group that's closer to the first team. I've gone to train now. They're telling me, yo, go to the group, like, with the, the lower, lower one. group. Mm. 
I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Then I just went inside, and mm. then I, I, don't, I don't think I came back again. Mm, mm. But obviously, they had them. Um, they had a they had a guy there, Dave. He was like a new person there, but obviously, I didn't get to meet him properly. And he, if a guy like that, him and Jam, Jamal Campbell Rice, like, okay. I reckon if a guy like that, them two guys were there when I first got there. Got there. Probably would have been different. different. Like it would have mm. been different for man, like because. Like when I spoke to Dave, like he was reasoning, man, reasoning with me, like and reasoning with me in a way, like, and obviously Jamal was like, when I was, when I was there, he was there for a bit as well beforehand, mm. Mm. but obviously it was it was too late, but yeah, the damage had been done by that. Yeah. Time. Okay. So, so that season comes to an end, so that's which is which is just last season, really, two yeah. seasons ago, and then so now you you're clubless, looking for a club again. I'm the, clubless and I'm just thinking you know what like what am I gonna do like what am I gonna do mm. and I'm saying to myself like people are asking me do I wanna go abroad I was like nah I don't wanna go abroad and then now like I've got to a stage where, like I've lost my passion for football mm. I'm not as sharp obviously like I'm not as quick yeah of course I'm not I'm you not, haven't been playing regularly yeah like I'm basically gone like a year and I ain't played regularly like I'm playing certain times and I'm just not feeling like and your mental space as well it's not yeah, being like I'm not feeling I'm not feeling myself yeah so I'm like you know what like let me just let me just go and go somewhere where like I know how it's gonna go I know like kind of the people I know what it's about mm-hmm. right to, to so obviously actually now that summer I went well in as well I went well in with Brad with Brad with Brad went with Brad Brad was like, I was asking Brad, what, what kind of money have you lot got? It wasn't, there wasn't transparent. I ain't got no time for that. So mm. it's just like, yo, Welling's too far. Too from far me. anyway. Trip like, and mm. there's no transparency cut out. I was like, you know what? Cool. Enfield. Enfield is local to me and that. When Enfield. Which is where your story started. Yeah, we're back where mm. I started. So I was just like, you know what? This makes sense. Like, so I was playing in Enfield went there I wanted to play right back yeah like I got to a point where like I didn't have no confidence in myself like mm. to play centre mid mm. I was like bro I can't check my shoulders no more I ain't got no side mirrors anymore I don't want to be getting the ball like and the man's coming up my ass I want everything in front in of front me. of you now I just want to put crosses in and mm. just mm. chill out mm. but then like so you oh, made that decision I to change your decision. position yeah I made that decision okay. mm-hmm. and I was like you know what like and it, I, it was like our coaches that they kept telling me like yeah you're a very good right back you're a very good right back like, so i used to think you know what and a lot of people have said it over time like yeah you could play right back like, mm-hmm. but it was like at right back you're i'm limited so i was like so you've gone there and elise is the manager and elise i'm telling Andy elise yeah i'm a right back i want to play right back it's not like, oh all right but then pre-season games he's played me center mid Play me centre mid, play me centre mid now. He's like, you know what? I, obviously, when I know you, like, I want you to sign, like, it's, of course, like, it's evident that I want you to sign. What are you saying? Yeah. I was like, cool, I'll sign. Like, so I'll sign. Season started off doing all right as well, doing all right. And then. Are you falling back in love with the game? Is it still a chore for you at the moment? Nah, it's not a chore for me. I'm falling back in love with the game. Like, I'm mm. enjoying it. Mm. I'm liking it. Like, I'm playing in the middle. Like, I'm in, I'm enjoying it like mm. we're doing all right as well mm. and then Corona's hit us now of course so now the seasons come to an end mm. but these times before the season come to an end Braintree wanted me okay so Braintree wanted me but I was like I want to chill at Enfield like I want to I want to like just get into my groove again yeah, get into course. my mojo just consistent games like that's what yeah. I wanted like and then obviously I was thinking, you know what, I gotta play somewhere like let me go get some peanuts somewhere else. Like. <laughs> so So you've gone to Baintree? So I've gone to Baintree now. I've gone to Baintree. And then the manager there's Ryan Maxwell. Ryan Maxwell's militant, like he's a manager, he don't he don't fuck about like mm-hmm. he does not fuck about like so whether in press ups, sit ups, <laughs> everything old ups, school regime. Like regime, like military regimes after the game, like Okay. After the what's it called again? After training, sorry. After everything's run, 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 run. Like, like run, lot, run, lot, run, lot. Like everything's <laughs> run. Hmm. 
But like, I'm not a runner no more. Like, I'm a luxury player now. Like, I'm just changed up my thing. Mm-hmm. Like them Kante, the P, the P Kante days are gone. And that's because smarter. Smart alcohol. <laughs> nah, <I'm> joking. <laughs> just smarter. Yeah. I feel like I don't have to run. Like, I can get myself about without running Move as back. much. Yeah, like. so run smart rather than run hard. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. you've got men that are going to run, like, everywhere, left, right, and center. You're just doing, like, dog work for no reason. Mm. It don't make no sense. But, so cool. Started off with Bainchy. I think the first game was Billy Ricky. That my thing. I think I got man of the match. Mm-hmm. The next game was... Dartford or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or another game. No, Chelmsford mm-hmm. got an assist. Dartford scored a goal. Okay. Oxford City. Mm, I was moving a bit. Mm, shaky Warrior. Oxford City. But they sm- they slapped us. Oxford City came on violence. Okay. They smacked everyone there. Mm-hmm. But it's like, the gaffer used to be warm with me. Like, every time he used to see me, Percy lad, Percy lad, like, <laughs> he used to be, like, warm with me. Yeah. But that week after we've got slapped, Slap. he's moving cold with me. Like, like, you see me, usually, like, he don't shake my hand. He'll come and hug me, like, oh, okay. come here. Yeah. Like, he's, he's spun me, like, he's mm. just spotted me and just looked away. So I'm thinking, ooh, I know managers. You're putting me on the bench this weekend. Yeah, you can, like, you can smell it. Yeah, I can smell it coming. Like, <laughs> so I was thinking, cool, you're going to put me on the bench this weekend. I've got something for you this weekend. Okay. Because I'm thinking, bro, like, one game. One gonna, game and then you're... You're going to ice me out, mm-hmm, like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I don't even know. Like, I'm all snapping on the bench. Mm-hmm. Like, I want to snap on the bench. Like, I remember my guy, Nathan Smith. He said, Papa, you're moving crazy right now. Stop doing all of this. Like, I'm saying, yo, like, but it's like all of them things that he, he he was breaking it down to me is like is your energy like the energy that you're giving out is not good energy. Exactly. So that's why these kind of things are happening. Oh, happen. I'm snapping on the bench. I'm saying, yo, we're getting smoked right now. Yeah. I'm doing commentary on my phone. On like phone. I've live yeah. all got my phone on. You the shouldn't bench. even have your phone on. Yeah, the bench. you're not allowed your phone yeah. on the bench. But I'm doing all of this, mm. all of that. I'm saying, mm. yo, we're getting slapped up right now. Back to you, Allen, in the studio. <laughs> As I'm doing on my snap, like uh, people are saying, nah, like this guy's crazy. crazy like, yeah, of course. So cool now, but these times everyone's in the stands, isn't it? Because obviously the corona regulations and stuff. Yeah. So I'm there, I'm tying, I'm untying my um my shin Your pads. Shin pads and all that, yeah. So I didn't even get a minute. It's made three subs. Didn't even put me on. I'm thinking, wow, I must be that bad. Mm. I was thinking, cool, so no, and I ain't running then like and that's like that's so after the game he's expecting you now to do yeah, the box to box runnings everyone else is doing the box to boxes already everyone's trying to knock it out quickly quickly to get back in I'm taking my time I'm unwrapping I'm watching everyone I'm seeing him shouting at everyone going in and that like, I'm just watching everything going on so now I'm walking down slowly walk past the dugout he's in the dugout now he's looking at me like this like he's looking at me in, in disbelief how slow I'm walking to yeah. do what I'm doing mm. then he's like Percy, like, you, start, 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 you better fucking run, mm-hmm. or you better fucking go, something fucking something. Mm-hmm. I said, Whoa! like, what are you talking to me like this? But these times I know what I'm doing. Like, yeah, of course. I said, yo, I'm going to take the second option and fuck off. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, you know what, like, nah, fuck it. Like. And that's how your, your Baintree episode ended. Ended on that Right, note. on that note. On that note, just like that. Okay. Obviously, it's like I didn't want to be there particularly. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't dying for it. Like, I just wanted to play football. Yeah, of course. The whole yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why, like, if I was at Enfield and I'm at Enfield, like, don't get me wrong, at Enfield, I've been on the bench. Yeah, know? of course. I've been on the bench just yeah. like there, like you get it, like, yeah. and I ain't had no issues. Yeah. But it's like my thing is, is the way you talk to me. Like the way you talk to me is very, very important because you're not gonna talk to me like that on the street. So why are you gonna talk to me like that at football? Football. Mm. Like obviously, because you've got a, like power or authority mm. over man, it doesn't give you the right mm-hmm. to speak to me in a certain way. And obviously, I understand managers get angry and certain things, so I can understand in the midst of anger. But when it is when it's a bit too frequent Constant, now, yeah, like that's when I just feel like, yo, this is okay. This is almost disrespectful now. Gonna pause the football story there. Um, you have a a massive personality, which I think has already come out uh, on this podcast. You have a massive presence online. Uh, 
be it my design or be it, that's just the way it's happened because of this you know the the abracadabra the music your, your your own sort of comedy stuff that you're always putting out there the kids love it all you're a massive personality to deal with i, I remember pep this season or last one of the two ha began to have problems with mendy you know and i think you saw that where it's like I'm trying to win a league here. I'm trying to do this. And I've got this character in here, always on his phone, always tweet. You know, he, he's also got a big life outside of football. I get that. But whilst you're here, it's business. I'm thinking you've kind of brought that to the semi-pro game. Mm. You, any changing room you're in, you're possibly nine times out of 10, you're going to be the most popular person in the room. That's manager included. So for a manager to manage a personality like that, it's, it's quite difficult. It's quite challenging for the manager. And then on top of that, you are coming with a few antics, which you've readily admitted, albeit you're saying, if somebody talks to me, this is what I'm going to do. But you are becoming quite a hard man to manage it. Just, just listening to the stories, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit sorry for some of your managers. Nah, so, no, 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 nah, I just want to nah, nah, put this to you, uh, yeah. Percy. So what I'm saying to you is this, you're 24. We yeah. started this, this conversation saying, you still believe you have a chance of making it. Yeah. yeah, you still believe that. There's still a chance. And and players like DJ Campbell and, and Jamie Vardy have all proven you can go back into the game at an, at an older age. That's not the problem. Mm. What is it you're going to have to change in you to make that happen? Because I believe it's not just the clubs. It's not just the managers. I think you yourself also have to do a little bit of a deep dive and say, you know what? If another opportunity comes up for me, yeah. what are my lessons learned? What am I going to do slightly different for me to potentially succeed in football. I'm not delusional. One thing I was going to say, I'm not delusional. It's like, I understand where I've made my errors. Like, But one thing in football, if you, sometimes you're going to have to bite your tongue. For me, myself, like I can't go into, if I go back into the league, I can't go back into the league as PK Humble, like, PK Humble has to be outside football mm -hmm. and Percy is in football. Mm -hmm. I've got to be able to, to disassociate the two. Like, And once I get myself going and I get the motor starting and everything's kicking on, that's when you can now merge, merge the, two. the two back in. But like, without, without, without like, without getting that name for myself, I can't merge the two. Like, yeah. it's impossible. So are you willing to do that? Are you willing almost to make PK Humble a character? Because that's a character, almost. You're playing a character. And I wouldn't Percy, even say it's a character, though. You? Yeah, because it's you, innit? It's yeah, still you, like, but, the way I am. but the name, though, the name yeah. PK Humble, like you just said, yeah. can't really be the name you're carrying in the football world. But Is I feel like I'm trying, to, I'm trying to change it and make it, like... That's why I want to be at that point where, like, get myself fit enough, get myself good enough to that point where it's, like, even if I am PK you Humble... You take me like, as I am. He's taking me as I am. Mm. Like It's like Mendy, like... Yeah. Mendy's... Mendy... Like, regardless... The difference is, Mendy's done prim. the work. No, 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 no. Not just that he's at a prem. He's done the work, though. Mm. He's done the work. He's got his name. He's done all of that. So now he's got the presence to be able to do that. I think I think at the moment, in terms of football, yeah. you've still got to do that work. Yeah. That's the only difference here. So you've got a great... And, and we'll talk a little bit about your presence outside of football. But I think in terms of football, you have to do that work. You have to be at a club. We've spoken about... You have to be at a club two, three years... Do your shift, do the I game, feel like do the minutes, and then merge the two. If I scored 20 goals this season, yeah. as a centre midfield, yeah. I would get a move. Yeah. So if I score 20 goals, yeah. they don't care whether I'm PK or PK humble. They don't care what I've done at Colchester, what I've done at Rare Tete, what I've mm -hmm. done at Rare Tete. Mm -hmm. like, I'll get that move, but so obviously you get yourself into shape to the move the is not goals. the move is not the the move is not the problem. Exactly, you know? it's that's what you do when you get the move. Because a lot of people get moves and you, like, this like is what I'm me, talking about. This is why I'm talking about one. your deep dive. Yeah, so I'm I'm now concerned about you, and I just want if the door does open again, yeah, we're not having an agent saying PK, you messed it up for yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, I, I just want you to understand if you do get that next opportunity, take it and take it with both hands. And if you do have to take a couple steps back in terms of personality, you might have to do that to make it work. That's Definitely. where I'm coming from. Definitely. Yeah. But PK, what a, what, what a conversation. I do want to finish on this because I think my son wouldn't let me off if I didn't because he, he loves you. You wanted to be here today. <laughs> the, the whole social media stuff, yeah. where, where, where do you think that ends up? Where, where do you want to go with that? Because you're putting videos out there and I'm seeing 
over 60,000 views and 70. No, you've got a major presence. People find you hilarious. You know, what, where, where do you want that to go? What, what's your vision for that? My vision for that? I don't know. Like, I feel like it's just trying to take over, like, be on everyone's screen. Mm -hmm. Like, cater for everyone. So cater for people on Snapchat. Yeah. Cater for people in the presenting world. Like, I feel like well, maybe one day I can host Take Me Out or something. Mm, mm. I feel like, I feel like there's no limit with it. With it, yeah. Like, and it's only as of recent that I've kind of like, like seen that, yo, this is a, this is a mad avenue, like mm. in an angle that I could actually take. Like, it's just, it's just like, right now I'm still finding like, like the structure, the structure and trying to it. develop yeah, it and trying to make it into something. Yeah. Something big, like, so oh. right now I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to find it, so. Mm. I used the word earlier because when someone gets the amount of followers you do, there's a term that is, you know, used out there called influencer. You're, you know, and, and, and those people are seen as influencers because you have an influence over your followers. But you took, you, you didn't, I don't you didn't like, like that word. word. I don't like the word influencer, influencer because, like, I'm not no role model. Like, I've made, I make mistakes and I'm going to continue to make mistakes. Obviously, I'm going to try to rectify my mistakes. But, like, I don't want kids to say, oh, yeah, I want to live like PK. Like, nah, like, so like, what term? I did ask you. So if you don't want to be known as an influencer, I'm a, I'm a, what I'm term a, would you put? I wouldn't say even comedian. I don't like the word comedian okay. as well. Because okay. I'm not a joke, man. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm a serious guy. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not a joke, man. So what's the term you would like to use? I'm an entertainer. Entertainer. I'm an entertainer. Mm. That's what I like to, I, I like to say. And are just buying into what... Yeah, like, because even, like, my snap, like, sometimes it's not just me, like, sometimes yeah. I'm snapping, like, someone else, like, doing something funny. Mm. But it's like, you go, you look at my snap expecting to see something funny. Yeah. Not necessarily me. Yeah. But it's something funny. So it's just a, a, a matter of entertaining. Entertaining the people. Yeah. And so, I like that. I get a joy. I get joy out of it, like. And you're giving a lot of people joy. A lot <laughs> of people joy. So, as I said, this is our podcast. This has been Your Story, per PK. And this has been your truth. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it.